Hello Aquarius, welcome to Emperor's Moon Tarot. I hope that you're doing absolutely phenomenal today. This is going to be for the weekend. It'll be 1st, September 20th, 21st, and 22nd. 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I will not be taking any flyouts on this one. Um, I did not change out my background, but I did put a black cloth just because these are hard to see on the multicolor cloth. So. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. Just a moment of absolute appreciation for those that have liked, commented, and shared and subscribe to my channel. Grateful beyond words. Grateful beyond words. I love being able to help people and you're really being of encouragement to me as I'm trying to be to you. And I greatly appreciate you. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Aquarius, we have the Nine of Wands, the Five of Cups, Judgment, the Five of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and your overall energy is the Nine of Pentacles. We also have the Four of Wands under there. That's beautiful. Okay. Looks like you're in for a few struggles this weekend, Aquarius. Now, you had an absolutely beautiful week, beginning of the week, filled with creative energy. It was absolutely outstanding. We have a few uh, emotional things that have been happening to you here in the recent past that are leading up to your current circumstance this weekend. And it looks like we have a slight warning, and we also have something beautiful. So your Nine of Pentacles energy at how gorgeous that is in this deck. It's just absolutely stunning. We have Alice standing here on the road and she's got a raven on her arm. She's, you know, amongst all these beautiful flowers that have pentacles in the center. This is your, this is your singles independent card. Now, you know, if you're coupled up, you know, don't yell at me for saying singles, but it's an independent card. It's a time when you enjoy the level of success that you have attained in your life. You enjoy the fact that you are moving to a higher level of success in your life. And you're not worrying about your current situation. You're embracing your current situation, embracing that independent energy, being grateful for the things that you have in your life and really just focusing on self-reflection. And you know, after the beginning of the week that you had, Aquarius, I'm not surprised to see you with this energy of self-reflection over the weekend. Unfortunately, it looks like this, this, this time of self-reflection you may be using in the wrong way in the beginning. Okay? So it, it looks like what's our central to a reading is judgment. Judgment. That's that, you know, karma card. That time where you need to forgive yourself and others for the past. You need to take responsibility for your future. Um, atone for anything that you may have done in your past, any kind of past behaviors, past communication. But there's tremendous freedom in forgiving yourself. Aquarius, there's tremendous freedom in forgiving yourself. There's inner peace and personal growth. When you make that decision to move forward, regardless of your situation, regardless of those circumstances, understanding that the things that have happened to you in life, the things that, that you need to forgive yourself for, and the things that others may have done to you in your life, have led to 
this point where you have learned, you have grown, you, you are moving in a beautiful direction. You're moving in a really good direction. There's inner peace from that. But unfortunately, before you get to this point of forgiving yourself, you kind of get stuck in burdens and feelings of, of tremendous loss. And while you're looking at those things, try not to stay focused on them for too long. There's no need to stay focused in this negative mindset. You need to be grateful and move forward, okay? So this Nine of Wands is that, that perseverance, that, you know, that feeling where you have just almost had as much as you can handle, but you're not stopping, you're not giving up, you're being an overcomer. Being an overcomer is great in and of itself, but don't focus on the bad things, okay? Don't focus on the victim mentality. Don't be stuck in that, you know? Be the overcomer, be resilient, be perseverant, you know, get, consider self-preservation, but don't focus on the situation. Focus on the forward movement and the future and the hope that comes from the future. The Nine of Wands is almost at the end of burdens. The Ten of Wands is the end of burdens and like you can't go anywhere else, you know, but in a good positive light when you get to that point. So you're almost to that point where there there is no more burdens you can carry and you'll learn to say no to some things and, and release some of those burdens in order to, to free up you know, bring back some inner peace and some calm, but right now you're in that persevering mode. You're in that overcomer mode. Just don't get locked in a victim mode, which unfortunately I see a little bit of here with this Five of Cups energy. The Five of Cups energy is looking up at what's lost and not seeing what's there. You see? A little shiny card. So she's reaching up for the spilled cups, but well, she's got two beautiful filled cups right down here. This Five of Cups energy is that heartbreak, that loss, that isolation, that, that grief. And it's okay. Allow a little bit of time for the grief, but move on from it. You are an overcomer after all, and you are moving towards a beautiful future. So Aquarius, don't lose sight of hope. Don't lose sight of hope. You have these two filled beautiful cups here. You have great opportunities in front of you. Don't cry over the lost ones. Acknowledge them and move on. Because they weren't your opportunity. These ones are. So forgive yourself for allowing things in your past. Forgive those that have done any kind of harm to you in your past. Because holding on to grudges, holding on to those difficulties and trials is not going to let you move forward. Okay? And you need to move forward with inner peace. Now we have this Five of Wands energy in the near future. The Five of Wands energy is, you know, quarrels and petty arguments. To avoid the, the quarrels and petty arguments, don't immediately react. Stop and listen. Stop and listen and harness this Queen of Cups energy that is also coming in your future. The Queen of Cups en energy is nurturing. They're sensitive. She's very compassionate. She's empathetic with other people. She's very admired. She, she, here she is. She's holding out this cup of love to this group that's quarreling, saying, hey, there's no need to fight. There's no need to fight at all. We can have peace and calm if we all work together. So stop and listen and harness this Queen of Cup energy. It will serve you better than fighting about pity things. For Aquarius, Aquarius for the weekend. We got two. Aquarius, we have Dragon, discover your courage. When you're locked and gripped in these negative thoughts, find the courage to get beyond them, to look towards hope and to forgive others and move forward, okay? Potential, think big for your future. This is that hope. This is that hope. This is turning that abundant, 
overall high level of success and movement into something even greater. And you can do that by moving through these emotion, this emotional aspect that you're dealing with this weekend and remaining hopeful for the future. All right, Aquarius, I hope that that was helpful to you. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'd like for us to be able to remain connected going forward and to encourage one another. Please like, comment if it resonated, share, and have an absolutely beautiful day.